Hello to everyone. I hope you're doing well in the quarantine. Today we're going to cover defining and non-defining relative clauses. In order to understand defining and non-defining relative clauses, I think we should know the meaning of define, the verb define well. Define means describe something correctly and thoroughly and to say what standards, limits, qualities it has that make it different from other things. Defining relative clauses. A defining relative clause tells us which person, thing, or place we're talking about. It follows the noun and can come in the middle of a sentence. We do not put commas before or after the clause. He is the police officer who arrested the man. When we omit the defining relative clause here, who arrested the man, it doesn't make much sense. It is the same as in the second one. The police officer who arrested the man is over there. Again, without who arrested the man, doesn't make much sense for us. Defining relative clauses. I saw a man who is a teacher at grammar time. Again, I saw a man. Which man? We don't know. It doesn't make much sense. It is not clear. Who is a teacher? With who is a teacher? It is more meaningful, more clear. We found a kitten which has a broken leg. Again, when we omit, which has a broken leg, has got a broken leg, is omitted, so it doesn't make, um, make much sense. After who and which, let's come to the, let's come to the relative uh, pronoun that, that is used for informal situations as a relative pronoun. I saw a man that is a teacher at grammar time. We found a kitten that has a broken leg. Who, whom, which, whose, and that are called relative pronouns. Now it is your turn. Things, animals, people, or possession. Now please put them in the right place. Who and whom are used for people? which is used for things and animals, that is used for things, animals, and people, whose is used for possession. When do we omit the relative pronoun. Let's have a look at the example. The boy who you saw is my brother. So in informal style, we use that. The boy that you saw is my brother. When we look at the relative clause, we see subject plus verb. So who did the action here? The action seeing you did it so you can omit it the boy you saw is my brother but we can't omit relative pronouns in the next example the boy who saw you is my brother in this one who did the action the boy who belongs to the boy that's why it can't be omitted. Now you've got one minute to do this exercise. Match the two halves of the sentences, then say what the things are. Time is over. It's a place where you can see lots of different fish, aquarium. It is a person who is younger than a toddler, baby. 
It's a sport. You play on ice. Ice hockey? It's a sport which you play on ice. It's a sport that you play on ice. Or relative pronoun is omitted. It's the organ whose job is to clean the blood, liver. It's the room which is at the top of the, ha the house, attic. So in this one, it can't be omitted because which belongs to the room. It's a gadget that gives directions, set now. Again, that belongs to gadget. And that's why it can't, it can't be omitted. Now read the article. What job is Harris applying for? Time is over. He is applying for the job of CEO of Nisa Retail. I think it is an Indian name. Now read the article again and underline the relative pronouns. Which, who, whose, where. Which do we use for people? for things and animals, for places, and to indicate possession. A, who, B, which, for people, for things and animals, for places, to indicate, to show possession. Here are some examples. Now, let's do it together. I met a boy, brother is in my class. Whose brother is in my class? He's the man I saw on the train. So, subject plus verb. Is the man who I saw, that I saw, no relative pronoun. Is that the dictionary you bought yesterday? So a thing which, that, or no pronoun. Show me the computer you got for your birthday, a thing that, show me the computer that you got, show me the computer which you got, or show me the computer you got for your birthday, subject, verb, object. Is that the cafe you worked last summer? So, we work in a place, that's why here, where is the correct answer? Is that the cafe where you worked last summer? Or is that the cafe in which you worked last summer? Here, there is no in which. New Year's Day is the day comes after the New Year's Eve. So here comes belongs to the day, a thing, which, or that. D is not the correct answer because there is no subject plus verb separately. That's the girl phone I borrowed here, possession, whose phone I borrow. Now, uh, non-defining relative clauses 
as it is understood from the title, non-defining relative clauses, you don't have to define the noun. It is already clear. It, it already makes sense. Mr. Chetin, who is a teacher at Grammatai, teaches English. When who is a teacher at Grammatai is omitted, it still makes sense. Mr. Chetin teaches English. Grammatai High School, which was founded in 2018, is located in Bishkek. When we omit which was founded or established, it still makes sense. Now, we've got one minute to do it. Time is over. Our neighbors, people who both work in London, want to give up their jobs. Here, the listener and the, the, the speaker and the listener know who they are. So our neighbors both work in London. We spend a week in New York where my mother used to live. My cousin Grace whose mother is a nurse, wants to be a doctor. All right, let's see the answers. Uh, well, Mart, which is a Swedish company, is an American company. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, which is the largest retailer in the world, is an American company. All right, you've seen the answers. Let's pass to the next one. Now, what questions might these people need to answer in a job in Tibia? Uh, you have applied for a job and it's time to have an interview. You are a teacher and you are applying for a position in a school. So which questions do you hope to be asked? For example, I hope to be asked, which university did you graduate from? Do you have any experience such as? No. Discuss the questions below, which were asked in job interviews at Google. Do you think they are fair questions for a job interview? Why, why not? How many golf balls can fit in a school bus? I don't think it is a fair question. How many times a day do a clock's hands cross? Yeah. I mean, it doesn't seem to be fair. The interviewer wasn't fair because he was asked to do something which had nothing to do with the job for which he was being interviewed. He was embarrassed and Now, there's an article here. Read the article. Do you think this interview was fair? Why? Why not? No, it wasn't. This is the possible answer. Uh, because he was asked to do something which had nothing to do with the job for which he was being interviewed. The same. Look at the highlighted examples in the article of in the article of non-defining relative clauses in the text. Circle the correct verse to complete the learn this box. 
non-defining relative clauses. In non-defining relative clauses, we use who, which, where, and whose, but we don't use that. In defining relative clauses, that is used for informal situations. But in non-defining relative clauses, we don't use it. A non-defining relative clause comes immediately after a noun and gives us information about that noun. A non-defining relative clause adds extra information to the sentence. The sentence, yes, which one? Makes sense without it. Alan Bacon now has a great job. Alan Bacon, who had to dance at an interview, now has a great job. When we omit the relative clause here, it still makes sense. And has a comma at the start, it has a comma or a full stop at the end. Now let's study some vocabulary. Now please match them. Retailer, thoroughly, take place, decline, graduate, as a noun. Graduate, someone who completes their degree. Someone who graduates from university or high school. Yeah, let's point out to graduate as a noun, graduate as a verb, graduate as a noun, graduate as a verb. Now it is your turn. Join the two sentences together with a, with a relative close. Use the pronouns who, which, where, or whose. That's the man. His job is to look after the garden. That's the man whose job is to look after the garden. A hotel is a place where you can stay quite cheaply. That's the song which I listened to at Emma's house. In the second part, we don't repeat the song here. We don't say, that's the song which I listened to, blah, blah, it. No, we don't say it, okay, because here, that's the song which I listened to at Emma's house. Here's the man who I saw on TV last night. That's the hotel where we stayed last summer. That's the dog which, which barked all night. Can we omit which hair? Thank you. No, we can't because which belongs to the dog. So it can't be omitted. She's the girl who I borrowed money from. Can we omit who here? Thank you. Yes, we can. Because I borrowed money. Subject plus verb. And who can be omitted? That's the boy whose father owns the shop on the corner. We never omit whose. So far, so good. Now, here are some other examples. Please. Time is up. Answers. Thank you very much for listening uh, to me. I hope you enjoyed the lesson. Take care. Bye for now.